Today's webinar is on the topic of using insight and data to drive client loyalty. James will talk us through uh, the Net Promoter Score, which turns 20 this year, and the Net Promoter System and how you can use them both um, effectively in your firm. And then I'll have uh, a Q&A with Shendell where we'll talk through Grant Thornton's client programme and its evolution. Um, NPSX, or as some of you may know, um, Fred Reichelt and Bain and & Company invented NPS 20 years ago, and we continue to be renowned as thought leaders on NPS and customer experience. NPS has been adopted by um, over two thirds of the Fortune 1000 companies, and Bain typically work with the world's largest organizations that have now delivered over 3,800 CX and NPS implementations in cases around the world. Um, the part that I work for, NPSX, is a digital venture that was launched by Bain early last year. And what we do is we offer best in class Bain methods in easily accessible digital products and solutions. We provide them both to Bain customers and also to organizations that aren't Bain customers to allow them to get access to this material. We offer those products and services both direct to clients and also via partnerships with third parties, um, and also through a growing independent advisor network. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, so I joined Grant Thornton just over five years ago, and at that time, the historical client listing, client feedback program had been running for about 10 to 15 years. And after I'd kind of reviewed it and spoken to quite a lot of stakeholders internally, and uh, clients externally as well. The, um, the programme was really no longer fit for purpose. It wasn't aligned with our strategy. Uh, it wasn't insight driven. It didn't really have any gravitas internally. And I think over time it, it had turned into a more of a compliance tool with the targets that were set were driving completely the wrong behaviours. And I, I don't necessarily think it was used to kind of hit people with a stick with the tool, but it was definitely something that people felt that they kind of had to do rather than wanted to do they didn't kind of understand the value I guess in the insight um, and really important for me it wasn't recognizing or celebrating successes and all the great work that we were doing across the firm too um, and looking back at it now uh, one of the other kind of key issues with it is that it very much looked at feedback on an individual basis um, so there were no kind of key learnings across across the wider firm at all and the learnings that we did have were just filed on the computer in the system. So once they'd been shared with the team, they were, were kind of no longer seen again. They had all this amazing, valuable insight, just that kind of not being, not being utilized at all, really. Um, and also at the time, it was being managed by a third party. So that turned out to be you know, fairly slow, um, fairly inefficient and, and fairly costly as well. So I took the brave decision after talking to quite a lot stakeholders and recommended to the senior team that actually the best thing to do would be to, to switch it off and start again rather than trying to tweak with it. It just got to the point that it just wasn't 